Hi, I'm Jason Rolland. I lead the materials team at Carbon. And today I'm here with Ken Kistner from Henkel uh, to talk about a new resin that they developed that we're launching on our platform, um, which is a clear, tough material. IND405 is a really interesting product that we developed. And this product has great toughness. And one of the unique attributes of IND405 is our ability to make a very, very clear resin. I think one of the unique aspects of this material is not only the clarity, but the toughness and the impact strength to it. And so how did you um, go about thinking about, you know, the, the material targets and applications for this resin? And, and what did you have in mind there? We tend to look at bands of HDT. Uh, and so this is in that kind of 50 to 60 band and temperature. And within that band, we try to maximize elongation. And this product, we were able to get nice elongation. It's in the 120 or 130% elongation, which is a, a massive amount of elongation uh, given the kind of modulus that this product has. And one of the areas that um, SLA really fell short and DLP has fallen short uh, is kind of a, in these tough areas. And I think that this product fits really well and carbons line up uh, for a clear product that has that drives at that high toughness. What are some of the applications that um, you're excited to see emerge from uh, from this material um, in, on the carbon platform? Yeah, we, we're seeing a, a variety of applications that are kind of emerging for a tough product. Uh, we have a company interested in doing sheet metal bending. We have another client that's looking to have this product as a prototyping for uh, injection bottles, uh, and then a variety of other functional components uh, that we've seen, uh, some interest in the footwear industry, some interest in the automotive industry. One of the things I think is interesting on the, the uh, bottles, the, the pilot runs for blow molding are in the, on the order of tens of thousands of parts. And so um, it amazes me that the, the high volumes that are considered even for a pilot run in that industry. Yeah, this is something we, we see over and over again in our industry is these, uh, these manufacturing methods um, that require long uh, production runs. And we're watching that same trend in 3D printing where it was prototyping ones. Uh, and now we're, we have seen definitely tens and uh, some of your, your great work at Carbon has shown hundreds of thousands uh, or you know, and, and even into millions where we can have strategic advantages. Um, so I, I see this trend continue uh, where 3D printing fills this short run, but what, what we define as a short run in 2020 may not be the same in 2021 and definitely not the same in 2025 as machine speed um, becomes faster and faster and, and even materials become um, more competitively priced to, to, to enter into those uh, lar larger opportunities. One of the things you've probably seen over and over again, but I, I'm seeing as well as this creativity of our customers. I think we're going to find dozens of these opportunities where we find sweet spots with this product. Well, thanks a lot, Ken, for, uh, for joining us today. And I think it's a, a really exciting collaboration between two great companies. So uh, thank you for your time. I couldn't be more thrilled about this uh, partnership that we've worked for quite some time on. Uh, I think we're going to do some great stuff for, for the market and, uh, Look forward to the next steps as well.